Mina-san, konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And today we are unboxing the XGMF X10A Freedom Gundam. This is the Freedom. Yes, this is the 35th anniversary revive um, relaunch um, of the HGs. And this is the first of the Gundam Seed line uh, in the revives. So excited to see this. Um, I actually really like the painting on the front. It's cool stuff. Um, I mean, it looks like a freedom. It doesn't look dramatically different. It does look a little like more rounded and better proportioned. So far, though, I am really, really impressed with the revive line. I've done the RX seventy eight two and the gun cannon. Not um, disappointed. Yes, all. yes, love them both. We've done reviews of them. I think they're great. Um, I think the new RX seventy eight two is like the perfect place to get into gunpla. Um, but I'm really excited for this. The first thing that I'm going to note is um, just glancing at it and picking it up it's heavy yeah. um this box is actually really heavy uh for an hg so mm. first off we have our beam savers these are beam savers like you know beam savers like you do. um beam savers we have more stickers than I'm, 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 I'm really comfortable with. I, this is a, this is a red flag. I don't like these. No. Um, there's too many of them. Red stickers, blue stickers. There should not be red stickers and blue stickers on a primarily red and blue kit. Nope. Um, that's not good. So, um, I don't know, but this is, this is making me a little unhappy, but it's okay. Cause the RX-78 II and the gun cannon didn't really have that many stickers and yeah. they turned out really good for it. But you know, the freedom is probably way more detailed. So, all right. We have our first wing pieces here. Those are pretty. Um, these are really, really detailed for an HG. And I think that what they're doing here is that they're not doing shitty little details um, that won't get noticed. These are all details that'll punch and stand out yeah. on the 1144 size. Um, so this is a really good compromise between what we've seen before and like the RG line. Mm -hmm. We have the bigger wings, um, these are fused, just like you would expect an HG's wings to be. Um, these are not going to be highly articulated, I don't think, but, you know, who knows? Who knows? I haven't put them together yet. Um, and we've got our torso, or our abdomen piece. We've got our feet here. It does look like the feet are going to be double-jointed. Um, the ones on the RX-78 and the gun cannon are, too, so I like that. It gives, lets you put them in more dynamic poses. And um, so next we have these gray runners, which um, I believe are parts of the rail guns um, that go onto it. Um, the skirts here. And we have next this one, which has our little beam rifle thing and a lot of our frame pieces. Um, let's see. And then our white runner, which has shield and a lot of the plates, the shoulders, the skirts, that sort of thing. Um, our helmet, um, our V fin. Uh, it is a largely white kit. Um, it's like Hollywood. All right. Next we have, these are our eyepieces. And then our polycaps, just standard HG. Um, this is is going to have the arms that have the additional jointing in it so they will be able to wrap forward that's cool um, so this is definitely looking modern here and then our other white here that's got our other leg um, some of our other plates here um, the, the the guns and wings that sort of thing and then we got A variety of colors here our little tiny runners we have our yellow um, sort of sub v fin piece we have our reds for the face a couple of little plates and pieces and then we have gray piece that these are uh, mostly internal uh, frame pieces legs that sort of thing 
So that's pretty much it. Pretty pretty simple here. Um, we have an ad for Hobby Japan uh, magazine, which is going to have an expansion kit for this particular kit in it, um, which I think looks really pretty. It's got these additional um, shoulder pieces. It's got these blades for the arms with little cannon things. I don't fucking know. It's got an additional head with um, an additional um, V-fin that looks like a little bit bigger, more like uh, you know anime friendly. And then we have our instructions. Instructions. Actually, man, this actually looks pretty cool. This is um, yeah. yeah, it looks it looks like almost as big and majestic as the Strike Freedom, which is one of the biggest silhouettes in Gundam. Um, so that looks that looks really cool. I'm eager to put it together. And lots of color here. Lots of real high definition photos to show you what's going on. Or photos, three three D rendered pictures to show you what's going on. Um, it actually still looks like it'll be pretty simple, with the exception of the wings, which will probably be a little repetitive. It should be a pretty quick build. Um, the it looks like it's going to have nice articulation on the rail guns and things like that. So that's cool. Um, but it's. It's a very simple HG kit. I think it was a weird choice. I'm surprised it's the first of the seed line that they did. It was weird. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't go with like the Ale Strike or something. But you know, whatever. Um, I like the Freedom. I think that it is um, a little under under um, stated. It doesn't get enough attention as far as the seed stuff goes. Um, but there you go. There is the Revive line Freedom Gundam. Um, I'll be trying to put this together and doing a review of it soon. Matane, everyone.